pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a sky like this that has so much promise, so much potential, especially for you. There's a real sense of honesty and positive change that is set to take place. And that is because for you, it is in the middle of the month, right around the 12th, to give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that we are going to have this month's full moon in your sign. Now, anytime there is a full moon in your sign, which tends to happen once a year, it represents a moment of self-honesty, of change, of renewal, of you looking at yourself more deeply, admitting the truth of a given situation that maybe has been there all along, but you haven't wanted to look at it just yet. But this is a particularly special full moon, and that is because it is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto. I am so encouraged by that. It tells me that there is power there's a sense now of things changing for the better and in a way that has the potential to last a long time. Neptune is speaking in harmony with this full moon. So there is this part of you that may be feeling as if a dream is coming into alignment for you. It can feel like an especially blessed time. Now you are at the source of it. You are at the root of it. It is about what is happening with you and your identity and what matters to you most and what matters to you first, that is going through some profound and significant shift at this time. But whatever's changing, it'll ultimately bring you that much more power and that much more stability, inner stability as well. Now, Mercury retrograde is intimately involved with this full moon standing across the sky at the same time, hand in hand with the sun. I feel like this is an especially potent symbol it is other people that may be part of you seeing something more clearly within yourself and helping you to get in touch with your true feelings. Now, I'll come back to that when we talk about love in just a moment. But remember, late last month, we had a new moon in your opposite sign. And it is this month that we've got Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign. So it is you interacting with people, your reunions with other people, especially people that you either have been partnered with before professionally, personally, or otherwise, that in some way figure into what is happening with you now. It is as we get late into the month, two weeks after that uh, full moon, that we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your relationship with financial institutions, grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, benefits you may qualify for. All of that is covered here. But there's another layer to this understanding as well, and that has to do with personal transformation your own sense of renewal, your sense of where it is that you're ready to bring a conscious and natural understanding to a particular area that might have had a lot of power over you before and to allow that to change into a source of strength for you. Now, you've actually had Jupiter here over the last year, and this is the last full month that Jupiter will be in this part of the sky for you. And in the days leading up to that new moon, Jupiter will meet Venus in the sky as well. So you can see this area of life that I've just mentioned is going to be very lit up. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron. There is so much healing on offer to you at this time. Now for some, this energy at this time may play out in terms of finances. And so it could be that you find things work out in your favor where it comes to a financial matter uh, related to, as I said, the financial institutions I mentioned, a financial settlement, all of that looks to be especially blessed in the days surrounding the new moon. But of course, your personal sense of you being different, having love for where you've been and how it is that that renews you and transforms you in this moment, well, that energy will be especially strong at that time as well. And wherever it is that you have been working towards your own transformation, emotionally, spiritually, physically, this is where it is that work that ends up bearing fruit, that ends up bringing reward. 
Now, where it comes to matters of love, Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign. I think I told you this last month, but when you've got Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign, breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up and misunderstandings between partners become that much more likely. And so if you're open to meeting someone new, it is during this Mercury retrograde that someone you connected with back in October could come back around at this time. The other layer of this is that partners you've had in the past have a way of showing up again as well when Mercury goes retrograde in your opposite sign. Whatever should happen, know that there's a sense of you seeing things differently, understanding the past differently, and that in turn allows you to be more present and understand where you are in love today and why. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, uh, this is going to be a closer look at what this person brings if you feel that you can be partnered with this person. But the likelihood of breakups become that much more likely. But again, the likelihood of it being rooted in misunderstanding is that much more likely as well. And so where possible, pace yourself. But at the same time, of course, do what it is that feels right to you in light of your unique circumstances, in light of a moment. But it does look like you are learning more deeply about yourself and about each other. For those of you in an established bond, all that energy late in the month can be really good where it comes to your spouse's income. And so you may find your own life being blessed with more prosperity as a result of sharing resources with your partner, with this other person. On another note though, it is that energy that can allow you to be that much more vulnerable with each other as well, feeling the bond deepen that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, I love the energy of wealth that is with you late in the month. I do think that if it is that you had been hoping for positive financial news, if it is that you'd been hoping for things to find a resolution in your favor, well, this is where you've got tremendous blessings for that to take place. At the same time though, I do feel like you are reaching a deeper level of honesty with yourself and changing in ways that very likely represent something more authentic within you, something that you love very much. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.